Hi, Jacob here again with Music Teach Knowledge Tutorials. Today we're going to be talking about MIDI and some of the things that you are able to do with it. This tutorial will be broken down into stages so you can skip to parts which may be more relevant to what you are looking for. What is MIDI? MIDI stands for Musical Instrument Digital Interface. It allows systems that send electrical signals via instruments and computers to send instructions to each other. It sounds very simple, but MIDI provides us with plenty of creativity for music production. Because MIDI data only performs instructions and not a digital version of a sound recording, it is actually possible to change the performance. Whether that means changing one note played incorrectly or changing all of them to perform the song in an entirely new key or different tempo or on different instruments. One of the things that confuses people who haven't used MIDI before is that they assume MIDI is a sound, a piece of software that travels through a cable. It's not. When one MIDI device communicates with another, it's all about instruction. It's just one MIDI device telling another what to do. Here's how playing a note, the most common MIDI activity happens. Suppose you've got a MIDI keyboard connected to a MIDI synthesizer box or module and you want to play the module from the keyboard. When you hold down the middle C on the keyboard, the keyboard sends out middle C key down MIDI messages to the module. The module says to itself middle C and plays middle C. When you let go of middle C, the keyboard sends a middle C note off message to the module. And the module stops playing its middle C note. Note on and note off messages are just the beginning. Most MIDI controllers can also sense how hard you play the note, transmitting a MIDI velocity value to the receiving device, so the volume or brightness of its note responds to your touch. MIDI is a musical description language in digital binary form. It was designed for use with keyboard based musical instruments so the message structure is orientated to performance events such as picking a note and then striking it or setting typical parameters available on electric keyboards. For example, to sound a note in MIDI you send a note on message and then assign that note a velocity, which determines how loud it plays relative to other notes. You can also adjust the overall loudness of all the notes with a channel volume message. Other MIDI messages, including selecting which instrument sounds to use, stereo panning and more. Standard MIDI files, also known as SMF, or .mid files are a popular source of music on the web and for musicians performing in clubs who need a little extra accompaniment. The files contain the MIDI instructions for notes, volume, sounds and even effects. The files are loaded into some form of player, software or hardware and the final sound is then produced by a sound engine that is connected to or that forms part of the player. One reason for the popularity of MIDI files is that unlike digital audio files .wav, .iaff, etc. or even compact disc or cassette, a MIDI file does not need to capture and store actual sounds. Instead, the MIDI file can be just a list of events which describes the specific steps that a sound card or other playback device must take to generate certain sounds. This way, MIDI files are very much smaller than audio files. And the events are also editable, allowing the music to be rearranged, edited, even composed interactively if desired. This has been a short tutorial on MIDI. Thanks for watching.